My God is awesome. He can move a mountain. Keep me in the valley. Hide me from the rain. My God is awesome. Heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever he will reign. My God is awesome. 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 My God is awesome. He can move a mountain, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God is awesome, heals me when I'm broken, strength where I've been weakened, bless his holy name. I was driving, y'all. And unexpectedly, I hope I said that right, a car pulled out in front of me. And I thank God, you know, it wasn't my doing. Thank God that I was paying attention and that I was able to slow down. Because if I had not, if God had not allowed me to slow down, then that car would have been hit. So I just thank God for that. And God spoke to me through that situation and revealed to me that life can change that fast the situation that you're going through that seems like a dead situation i know last week we were talking about lazarus all jesus had to do was say lazarus come forth and he did so god is just amazing he can really use when you're in tune with his spirit and you're walking with him and even sometimes when we when we become distracted i can say that too excuse me i can attest to that that he would just use Something that seems like a simple situation just to speak to you, whether it's through another person, um, through a child, through a sign that you see on a billboard. God is just amazing. And he used that situation just to show me that life, just life to be expectant because life can change that fast. You could just be minding your business and then a blessing just hit you. <laughs> you know, so God is just, he's amazing. And the thing about it is, and I, I I feel led to say this, whenever I, whenever God allows me to, whether it's on YouTube or just talking to somebody, because really that's really all I'm doing is talking to y'all and showing y'all what God has shown me, giving y'all what God has given me. If I smile or if I laugh, I'm not joking. It's just the joy of the Lord. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. And there's another scripture that says in his presence is the fullness of joy. So I'm not going to be getting up here looking all sad and, you know, because God is just so amazing. And sometimes it just, y'all, and I'm pretty, I know y'all have had these experiences where you're just like, man, there's no words. All you can do is smile or laugh like, man, God, just when I thought I had you figured out, here you go. And that's just the kind of God we serve. So I'm going to pray for us and um, be expectant because he's releasing blessings. And it's just like, just like we had in the other video. And I didn't even expect for this. You see, I didn't even expect to get back up here today to even talk about it. I'm like, okay, God, I posted the video that you told me to post about more than you expected with the peanut butter and jelly. I don't know if it made sense, but that's what you gave me. That's what you gave me to say, not knowing that he would immediately get me back up here to share something. And that's the kind of God we serve. He's immediate. Mm. And I and I even feel, well, God is good. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you for this day and this opportunity to pray. God, I thank you, God, for your mercy and your grace, God, towards us, Lord. I thank you for your loving kindness, Lord. And God, I just pray that you will help us to walk, Lord, in your ways and to stand on your word, Lord, no matter what may come, Lord, or go. God, we just thank you and we praise you, God, that victory is ours through Jesus, Lord. That because that there's victory in you, God, if we are in you, then we have victory as well. And I just pray, God, that we will be in your presence today, even as we're at work, driving at home, wherever we may go. I pray for travel and mercy for those that are traveling, God. Lord, even accidents that they may pass by on the way, God, I pray, God, for recovery, God, and I speak life over those situations, God, over those dead situations, God. 
in our lives. And God, just like you told Lazarus to come forth, Lord, I believe that you are even speaking that those things that are not, that they are going to be. So God, help us to prophesy, Lord, um, the truth, Lord. Help us to stand on your word, God. Help us to only speak things that edify or help us to only speak things that give you glory. Help us not to walk around with a sad countenance. We rebuke depression, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. Anything that's not like you, Lord, we bind it in the name of Jesus, Lord. Any torment and spirits, God, we pray that they will be burned up right now in the name of Jesus and cast from us. And God, this is my prayer, God. Lord, I pray for the forgiveness, Lord, of any sin that I may have in my heart, God, anything that I've done, Lord, intentionally, Lord, or unintentionally, Lord. And I ask that you will lead all of us in the way everlasting. And just encourage us, God. Help us, God, to just be renewed by your spirit, God. Renewed in our minds and in our hearts so we can know what your perfect will is, God. Give us clarity today, God. I believe that somebody desires clarity today. I pray that you would speak to them, God, that you would show them, Lord, through a sign, through somebody else just coming up to them randomly today, God. We know that all things work together for the good of those that love you and are the called according to your purpose. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Love y'all.